we'll need to drill a hole in the center top start by drilling straight down and then drill the angle made a template for you to cut the grass from a picture of this file will be a PDF will be available on the in the description cut some basic squares to cover your bases with about half a centimeter around the edge of each one so you get this effect glue on until you have as many as you need cut some basic squares to cover your bases with about half a centimeter around the edge of each one so you get this effect glue on until you have as many as you need cut your template out around the outside line this one this one you can just draw by hand after you've finished cutting as many full-size ones as you need once you've cut it out I'm not going to because I'm going to use this to generate your PDF put it on the reverse side of the fake grass and using a large texter or sharpie or something draw around the template make as many as you have pieces of pipe do not glue on to the pipe until after you have screwed them onto the wood. You transferred your template onto the back of the gra fake grass, just cut them. You may need to do some final trimming depending on whether all your pipes are exactly the same. Um, and I've left the tips on because I'm not sure if I'm going to use some of these as end pieces or whatever. Um, even if the tip's not been left on the tube, you can still leave the tip on the grass and it'll just cover up the area that's missing the pipe. I drew my curves freehand and as you can see they're not exactly right but they're close enough so that we can just trim them when we get to putting them on the pipe. It's always a good idea to recycle and save as much as you can so I'm putting these second row inside the curve of the first row just roughly in the right place so that I'm using up as much as I can and uh, I'm just going to draw around these, they're close enough. You can use them as a template once you've cut the first one, basically. So you have all your bits ready to go. Some pipe cut to however you like them. The pipe covers and the wood bases. And a packet of screws and a dr drill with a driver bit in it. You're ready to start deciding which way you want them to go. So we have the single end piece. It goes like this. These won't stand up, so the dual end piece goes like that. You have a left corner, <laughs> oh my goodness, which will go this way, or a right corner, which will go this way. Anyway, once you've decided how to put them together, that there you go uh, you can start screwing them on I recommend screwing this piece first always when you're doing angled pieces because it's a lot easier to put the second screw in when you've got no obstruction this way you put the second screw in this way when you've already got the first piece in screwed in you will have trouble possible trouble getting to this screw hole here find it helpful to pre-drill uh, the well pre-screw the screws into the white so that it's I'm not trying to hold it in place and hold it in place uh, and I always make sure that I work not on my nice bench top surface but an old scrap piece of wood when I'm drilling just in case it goes through the bottom of the board use your finger to line up the back of the pipe with the end of the board not the end of the grass here and then just hold it in place you will need to put a fair amount of pressure on it so once I've got it lined up I want to hold it like this with a lot of pressure pushing down so that it doesn't move while I'm screwing it in so the grass is not on a lump over top of it okay that's better 
see it's in the bottom and that's okay because I have an angle grinder I'll just take the tip of the screws off with my angle grinder later some time ago I invested in a couple of wireless rechargeable hot glue guns best invention ever um, when you're attaching when you attach one piece to a board like so you can then go ahead and start putting grass on the pipe it is a little easier to put the grass on the pipe before you touch the second pipe now I just realized I cut these a little narrow here but that's all right it's on the back nobody will notice make sure your front is in the right place um, if you're going to cut the edges because you're going to put two on it, do that before you attach them. And I've also noticed they're cutting a little long, so I'll adjust the template to make sure that they're not too long. Okay, we're going to go ahead now. All I did is put, run hot glue down here and it just sticks and stays, but I'm going to trim it up first. So I'm just holding one side. Oh glue runs whether you want it to or not. Just going to run the hot glue roughly down the centre of here but I'm going to go backwards and forwards across it so I can end up lined up and bring the back round stick down one side and stick down the other side like that hold it for a moment just so it dries and then the front's not lined up I have a second to move it so let's push it into place and there we go one 45 degree angle, cool noodle holder with fake grass, ready to go. Although I can, this can be an, uh, this is a cut piece, so it's going to have another piece either in a direction, straight across, left or right angled. Side note: If you find that your grass is a little bit too long or here, don't worry about it. You can cut that off or not; it really doesn't matter. But if your angles are not quite right here, that is going to impact how this sits on the board. So you do need to trim these to the correct shape here. And as I said, trim this one if you want or if not, depending on whether you're making them an end piece, a straight through piece or an angled piece. I decided to make this into one of the angled pieces. So I've left the top of the grass template in as a full tip. Despite the fact that this doesn't have a tip, it doesn't matter, it covers it up. And you can see here, the first one on and attach the grass. It's always a good idea to attach this grass first, because you're not trying to fiddle things down in there. So I'm going to make this angle this way. So. Just remember that I'm on my good bench top. Naughty. Right, looks like that's as far as it's going to go. My glue gun has an auto off feature of course so now I have to wait for it to heat up again. Uh, meantime I thought I'd just let you know always a good idea to cut this fake grass maybe over a dustpan like I've been doing recently because it makes a terrible mess everywhere otherwise. Um, I have got a few few offs scraps and off cuts that I might just fill in this uh, here with a piece of scrap so you can do that too if need be or if you're going to make a pair of angled ones this one needs to be this way so that you've got the right corner here and the left corner there so, that way. I'm going to put them on, make sure it's in the right direction. As I'm sure you're aware, the corner pieces, left and right angles I call them, are designed to go this direction. So you'd have one noodle coming from there into this one, one noodle coming from there into this one, if 
further apart apparently and then another noodle going from here to another one down there so you've got a, a garden you can obviously put more of the straight through ones here to make the corners further apart just join them as you need going along in any direction once you have a good selection of connectors you can start putting your fence together or your archway or your barricade or whatever you'd like to do with them of course the last component will be a good selection of pool noodles remember to like and share and subscribe thank you